Hey there friends, Kathy here at Spicy Cat Gems. Thank you so much for stopping by. I greatly appreciate that you are taking time out of your day to come spend with me. I have one of my favorite videos. I have several favorite videos I like to make, but today I have my version of my $10 beauty box slash bag battle. I have been, I have a playlist where I show, it's in, it's just in my unboxings, but it's the Birchbox and Ipsy, and I've been getting them since June, and every month I put them head to head and see which one I think was better. And now, check this out. There's a new contestant. We got a new person in the playground. I'm in play by Sephora finally, and I'm pretty sure if you have been on the wait list, you probably got accepted now too because I live in the middle of nowhere, Minnesota, and if they've opened it up to me, I'm guessing if your name was on the wait list, you can get it too. So, this is really an epic battle. We got three contestants coming into the ring. Only one's going to win, and by the end of my subscription, which... Sephora, well, you've only got like three months to show me what you got because I will be canceling one of these. That's a decision I cannot, I cannot use this many samples. So, and there's higher end beauty boxes I prefer. So, let's see what we got this month. And oh, sorry, I get so excited with the new contender. These are my April boxes and bag. And the way I have started to do my reviews, which I hope is helpful instead of just doing the blind unboxing and bagging which are super fun to see what you get I just do one video at the end of the month as soon as I get my products I open them up and I start using them and then I do a video where I give you um, my reviews what I think and then that really helps me pick which one are, is the winner so let's just do ipsy first this was the bag this month I don't hate it I don't love it I'd love it more if there was more blue. I think everybody's bag was a little different. You can tell the, the pattern. Zip on the top. This is my preferred. Um, the inside's blue and lined. Um, Ipsy always gives you this lovely postcard with no information at all on it. So, this is garbage. I have garbage right there. You will get five items in all of these boxes. I'll give you a little more detail. So again, they're $10 a month. In Ipsy this month, I received the, um, they sent, this was nice, they sent a duo. So they, this is like one item, but they sent two in different, their sheet masks. And one is blue, let's see, this one's blue lotus and white tea, which is moisturizing, nourishing, and renewing. And this is blue lotus and seaweed, which is moisturizing, soothing, and balancing. I used both of them. I will insert a little picture of me using them. They were fine. I love doing sheet masks. They were very relaxing. They didn't have an obnoxious odor. They fit my face fine. They didn't slide all over. Um, it's not anybody's fault. <laughs> it's um, just most sheet masks are super goopy and juicy. So you get a little bit that runs down and then you get a lot that's left in here. And I'm always like squeezing it out and trying to put it on my neck and down my chest. So I liked both of these. These were a nice product. I received a um, from Ren. Clean Skin Care, a Global Protection Day Cream, just a face moisturizer. This was fine. I used it. I didn't notice. Scent was fine. It's not perfumey or anything like that. Um, it's just your average, average face moisturizer. I will certainly use it up. And there we go. I probably wouldn't repurchase or anything, but I'll use it. This I was so worried about. This is the Star Looks, and it's a liquid eyeshadow. Oh gosh, you can tell I actually used it because products all messed up in there. I was like, oh my god, this isn't gonna work. I was really scared, and um, it actually did work. So I'm like, how am I gonna do this? And it's gonna look like I got painted bronze eyes or something. But I did use it, and it kind of would blend out. So I thought, oh, it's going to be this really horrible liquid. But it blended out, and I did it um, on my eye. Not my full eye. I do kind of my same neutral look that I got going today. And I apply this kind of right above the eyelash line. Not the full lid, but 
kind of like a really thick eyeliner. And um, I liked it. It wore really well. Not going to show. I can't, I can't catch the light. So that was pretty fun because I have never tried anything from Star Looks before. Um, that's... I just haven't received them. I don't not like that. Maybe I got a star looks like just like a black eyeliner, but so we got that. This um is so beautiful. It is a tapered highlighter brush from Luxie, and I love this periwinkle. Um I'm sorry, <laughs> you should read it. Periwinkle. This is so soft. I don't do that much highlighting, so I just use it for blush or for face. Lovely. I, I I've said it before, I love getting a brush in any beauty box because I'm too cheap to buy good quality brushes so by the end of all this I'm gonna have a full set and the last product we received was from Tarte I think just about everybody received this it is in the color wonder and I'm wearing it right now it is their lip surgeon lip cream and it does twist up there's quite a bit it's a little wonky I think I bent it um, very pepperminty smelling, uh, applies nicely, glides, wears, wears okay. So we're good there. That was everything I got in Ipsy. So Play by Sephora is new to me. It does come, sorry, in a shipper. This is the box it ships in, an outer shipper, similar to um, Birchbox. I don't keep my Birchbox box anymore, but it, it comes wrapped like that. And then it is this. And the thing that... Sephora already has going for it is their information. Um, they You get like a whole little mini magazine for, about your products. And um, it's their play-by-play. -play. It goes through all the products, tells you how to use them. A little bit of product information. Um, but definitely a lot of detail. Then it kind of tells you how to, you know, you can pair other items together. And then at the back, this is the only thing I was bummed about. You do get um, this card, and if you bring it into Sephora, you will get 50, point, 50 points, I believe. Yep, 50 extra beauty points um, when you just bring it into, car, into the store and have them scan it. Problem is, I don't have a store anywhere near me. I don't even know where the closest one is. So, um... I won't ever get that benefit, but I think that would be more of a perk. And then your products come in this box. It's going to open up. I've already taken them out, but it's in here with the, the shreds. And Sephora will also send you um, five products. And I do, must they change it? <laughs> what I had read, you will also receive a um, perfume sample every month. The perfume sample does not count as one of your samples. It's just an added in there. I'm sure to try and entice you to buy their perfume. So you always get a perfume sample and then five beauty products. This month um, they sent us, this is really, I use this and I liked it a lot. It's a Sephora liquid cheek gel, cheek tint gel. Um, it, you think it's really, it's about the color of this, but it blends very nicely. It's in the color Peony. I have not had any Sephora products before, so this was my first exposure to a Sephora branded product, and I did like it. We received a, um, from Clinique, it's an under eye cream, Pep Start Clinique, and it's a teeny tiny, but really an eye cream, it takes forever to use. I mean, it's... Is it tinier? It's tinier than my lip, my cheek tint here, but it's just got a, you know, squeeze out, put it on under your eyes. I use this. It did not um, aggravate my eyes. My eyes are very sensitive to some things. The skin isn't sensitive. It's my eyes that get sensitive. So some things I'll start watering or burning. This worked fine. I will definitely use it. Um, I used it all month, but again, didn't see any huge, any any changes. This, um, I've heard a lot of good things about this Good Jeans, and it's an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. You could use it, it says, as a mask or just to help um, ease fine lines. I used it a few times. Um, I was worried, you know, I'm like, do I use it as a mask or just like more almost like as a serum? 
So uh, I want to use it some more, but I didn't notice a difference. But I've watched other YouTubers that said they like can see a difference with their fine lines like within a few days. So I got to give this a little bit more chance. But I know it's very expensive. And yes, this is kind of little. It's from Sunday Riley. But um, yeah, very good quality. We received this. I just thought the packaging was so cool for milk, makeup, sunshine oil. Another company I've never heard of, never used. It um, is an oil you can use wherever, all over your body. You can use it on your hair, um, whatever you whatever you need some oil. So I like the um, packaging. I'm like, they need to get rid of foil packets and use this because you don't use up the product all the time and you need to seal it. So the packaging was nice. I used it a few times just on my face. I'm not a big, th big person with um, oils. At least in my hair or face, I don't care for them. It doesn't make me that oily. It just, I just don't like the way it feels. But I will use it on like dry patches on my um, elbows and hands. I think that's where I will like it the most. We also received a lip product. This is from NARS. It's a lip crayon. I'm hoping you can sharpen it because it doesn't twist up. But it's a very pretty color. Um, I did take a picture with myself wearing that, so I'll insert that. And yeah, I liked it. was fine. It seemed to wear fine again. Never had anything from NARS. And then our perfume this month sample is Derek Lamb 10 Crosby 2 a.m. Kiss. I do not like this. <laughs> it's very strong. I didn't have to squirt it. I can just smell it. But, you know, this doesn't, it's not going to affect my my factory in here because it's um it's a bonus so I'm sure there's gonna be some months I'll really like the perfume this month I did not okay last one is birch box this month the birch box teamed with rifle paper company and created this beautiful box um again they've I like I said I think they've been changing their packaging I just had a little piece of foam down here no tissue paper, nothing. All my products were just thrown in. So getting a little disappointed with Birchbox um, products and their packaging, to be honest. But anyway, nothing was broken. The box is beautiful. Birchbox does give you some inserts. This month they gave us um, a coupon code to shop on the Rifle Paper Company, if we so desire. And they will give you a menu, is what I call it, of all of your products and the full retail price value. I had chose, Birchbox usually always get a sample choice, um, whether or not they're sold out of it, or <laughs> out of it by the time you get to make your choice. But they had a lot of sun care products, and I don't, I'm not a sun, I don't go outside, I don't like the sun, I don't like the heat, I don't like the bugs. So I didn't get any of those for my sample. Instead I chose these um, makeup remover wipes from RMS Beauty. This was one of the options. And I was so, so, so excited to try these because I love makeup wipes. I love coconut oil, which this is supposed to be based with, coconut oil. And these, I can't, I don't swear, stunk. <laughs> these were horrible. Uh, did anybody like these? I I used both. I read the directions on how to use them. I knew it was like coconut oil, so you had to like warm it up in your hands or stick it in your armpit before you open it so that it can, you know, loosen the oil and make it more liquefied. I did that. It had more than enough time, and it was like washing my face with scrant, scrant sandpaper. The cloth was not pleasant. It was rough. The um, there was not enough product on there. I ended up washing my face with something else and then using it, and I still had to use a makeup wipe remover. Uh, they were absolutely horrid. Great theory, horrible product. This was an item I received, Silken Up Dry Conditioner. I received the same version of the Amica brand dry shampoo last month, and I loved it. This, I don't get. Maybe it's just me, but... Um, or it's my hairstyle, I don't need spray and conditioner, I guess. I tried it a few times, it didn't really do anything. I mean, I didn't get this one. Didn't like it. I received from Wish some shave cream. This is fine, I received a shave cream, I think from them before. It was a different scent, this is the lavender one. 
it worked. It did its job when I shaved my armpits. So that's what I used it for. Anyway, so it's fine. It's not, I mean, the Wish, it's not, it's like a lotion, so it doesn't suds up or anything, which is fine. This, um... Briogeo, Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Hair Conditioning Mask. I tried this as a mask and left it in. I didn't notice a big difference. I tried it again just as a leave-in conditioner kind of a thing. And it worked fine. Nothing to write home about. It's basically, I didn't get any deep conditioning. It just seemed like a regular conditioner to me. And we also got a lip product from Birchbox. This is the PG. PJB Smoothie Stick. And am I the only person that's confused by thinking if it says PBJ, it should be like peanut butter and jelly? No. I, I don't get the naming of their product. That's like the product, and it's guava <laughs> is, the, is the scent. I absolutely hate this. <laughs> um, the color, I think, is fine. You know, it's just a crayon type thing. It bled outside my lip. Um, I didn't think I should need, it's not supposed to, it's a creamy lip crayon, I guess. I don't know, am I supposed to use a lip liner with everything? <laughs> I thought it was more of a balm. It smells like perfume. Horrid. It doesn't have a pleasant taste if you get it on your tongue or the inside of your lip. And I just didn't like the way it wore, so it's going to go right into my trash bin, actually. So, there you go. Those are my three items. My three items. My three $10 subscriptions, which, by the way, if you're at all interested, I will have links below to all of the websites. Um, they may, I think they're all going to be like a referral. If you were to click on the link I list and you sign up, I might earn some bonus points. So, just so you're aware of that, I would appreciate it. But by no means, I mean, you can just go to Ipsy, Birchbox, or Sephora and sign up. You don't need a referral link. So, I am going to say for sure Birchbox, major fail. They have not been doing it for me lately for like several months in a row. The boxes are absolutely gorgeous, usually. These products, the um, these were a fail. This was a fail. This was a fail. This was eh, me. It did shave cream. And this was just a hair conditioner. I didn't get a deep conditioner max. So that, sorry. Birch box, you lost for sure. So then between when I'm going down between my Ipsy and my um, Sephora, I was happy. This was my first Sephora. I absolutely love their literature explaining the products and what you get in there. Um, product wise, I don't know. It was a good variety of products. I ah, I, I don't like to do ties. We're throwing out the perfume because that doesn't matter. <sighs> I have to go actually with Ipsy. Ipsy, uh, you beat Sephora for me. I get, uh, it's just my first time. And I think because I'm not used to Sephora, I don't know the brands. And I've been maybe doing Ipsy long enough, I'm getting to know those brands a little bit better. But I loved the sheet masks. Um, the brush, loved it. This lippy, loving it. Um, this was a meh, but it's a moisturizer. I use moisturizer every day, so that's fine. And I was pleasantly surprised by this um, liquid eyeshadow that I thought was going to be a total fail. So they did pretty good. And yeah, you know, it was okay. This, like I said, I'm not, I think the only thing really knocking it down is I'm not into the oils for hair, excuse me, hair and, um, I'm not into using the oils on my face and hair. Or even body that much. So this, not that exciting for me. I, I've heard this is a really good brand. Um, this is kind of fun, but it's okay. <laughs> I just prefer a little bit of a powder blush. It's not Sephora's fault. It's my fault that I'm not smart enough to apply this without making it blotchy. So just to have two, eh, is what's going to make Ipsy my winner. Anyway, thank you much. Thank you so much for stopping by. I greatly appreciate that you took time to see me. And which, if you received all three of these, which would you have chose as the winner? Um, like I said, I picked Ipsy. And do you get them? Did you get different stuff? The same stuff? Sephora, I'm guessing we all get the same stuff. Like I said, it's brand new to me, but I think everyone gets the same products. 
I don't know if they're different. I know Ipsy and Birchbox, you will get different products depending on your profile. So anyway, let's see what happens in May and I will show you and let you know who wins my battle. Bye friends. My shampoos, I would say they were uh, a wash. I liked both of them. Um, so that was fine. And they both performed equally well. One did not outperform the other. I, as far as I got eye things in both of them, this was Birchbox and this is Ipsy. For um, Birchbox, it was fine. It was a one-time use. I really can tell you if it's um, going to make a world of difference. Ipsy, I loved the... Um, it's a lotion product. I love the scent. I liked the way it applied and I have enough that I can get, you know, these eye creams, you don't need much. I'll be using this for a couple months probably. So the eyes, the eyes have it with, um, <laughs> can I talk with Ipsy? With